Hey, what's going on? Jordan here with STL Living, and today we got a video for you on Soulard, a virtual tour video on Soulard. So all of that being said, let's hop right into it. I kept it zoomed out just so you get a decent idea of the geography of where Soulard's located. Obviously, it's located right next to the Mississippi River. Uh, I will actually, I'll go up, I think this is 7th Street. Yeah, it is 7th Street right here that you would take to get to downtown. It's about a five-minute ride over to downtown St. Louis. As you can see, Bush Stadium located right there. Uh, also nearby, uh, where is it? Forest Park, Forest Park, which is bigger than Central Park in New York City, right next door to Tower Grove Park as well. But making our way back over to Soulard, Soulard has a lot of single family homes, uh, single family and multifamily homes that were, if I had to guess, built in the 1800s. It's got a quaint brick aesthetic to it that I personally really like. I like those old homes that have that old style feel that have been remodeled and refurbished throughout the year. I I just I almost prefer that. I like something that has some history to it. Uh, I know some people prefer something a little bit newer, but all of that being said, we'll zoom in and kind of give you a, a little tour. So as you can see, a lot of uh, restaurants and bars that are popping up here in Soulard, and that is because there are about 40 restaurants and bars in the area. There's a lot to do. It's definitely known as a trendy area of St. Louis. Zooming in a little bit further, you got some notable places like McGurk's, uh, Tucker's Place, Duke's. Uh, looks like a pizza joint right here. I've personally never been there. Chava's Mexican Restaurant, really good. Soulard Coffee, Coffee Garden, which is awesome. It's got like an outdoor, a little outdoor patio if you want to go post up with the laptop or something during the day. Uh, you got Molly's in Soulard, which is a very popular spot. It's got a really cool outdoor patio. Henry's in Soulard, which has uh, kind of a unique setup. It's got like an old car and it's got, a, I don't know, it's got cars and other just weird stuff on the inside. So going up here, you got the 1860 Saloon. And bringing it up to this trendy little square is Llewellyn's, the Dog House, Mission Taco, which is a St. Louis staple. And they got Mission Tacos all throughout the city. Uh, International Tap House, I want to say, oh, there it is, Bogart Smokehouse, which is a notable notable restaurant here in Soulard. Even got a Domino's Pizza, Hair Feathers. That's a weird name for a business, but we're going with it. Uh, Soulard Farmer's Market, which is actually the oldest farmer's market west of the Mississippi. Fun fact, I know, I just brought that raw off the dome, I said that. Uh, they trade a lot of like spices and I just think it's cool that something's been in business so long. Again, I really appreciate the history of something whenever it's been around for so long. You just got to appreciate it. Uh, Soulard Park, Soulard Oktoberfest, uh, which speaking of Oktoberfest, Soulard's really well known for Oktoberfest, but probably more than anything, Soulard's known for Mardi Gras. It's, I mean, there's, there's just a sea of people and you got beads everywhere. There's, uh, there's Soulard Mardi Gras is, uh, probably one of the biggest city or one of the biggest parties in the city or biggest events. We'll say that. Uh, so you also got the darkness haunted house, which when I think of the most popular haunted houses, whenever Halloween time comes around, I probably think of the darkness. I don't know if it's because it was the most well advertised or if it's because it's the best, but I probably think of the darkness and then also Lent mansion, uh, which has a lot of history to it as well in downtown St. Louis. So making our way back down here, I will keep us kind of kind of uh, next to 7th Street, which is the street you would take to get to downtown St. Louis. You got all of this, and there we are, St. Peter's Catholic Church, St. Peter and Paul Catholic Church. I think this church is really cool because I like the older churches. It has a kind of a European basilica kind of feel to it, and it's... It's kind of a, in, in me, in my mind, it's a St. Louis staple or a Soulard staple because whenever you're coming up here on 7th Street and you pull up, it's one of the first things you notice, or at least that I notice. And I love the architecture of this thing. It's massive and really pretty. So got some gas stations right here. Uh, these gas stations annoy me because they don't have public restrooms, but for good reason, I guess. 
So over, over here, there's a, a fair amount, but I would say most, most of what there is to do in Soulard is probably on this side of 7th Street. So I guess we mentioned most of this down here. Pontiac Square Park, Soulard Euro, which is pretty awesome. Dee's Place. Uh, I know there's a really nice apartment complex. I want to say I'm... All right, we missed it, but it's it's somewhere in this area, somewhere around here. So making our way down here, you got the Boys and Girls Club in Soulard, uh, Big Daddy's Bar in Soulard, uh, and here we are, the Anheuser-Busch Brewery. So you can, at the Anheuser-Busch Brewery, you can go see the Clydesdales. You can also see things like a uh, brewery tour, which is pretty awesome if you want to go spend your Saturday on a brewery tour. And there are also a lot of job opportunities. I I don't know no, uh, much about the details of that, but I do know a few people that work at Anheuser Busch Brewery, which is pretty cool. I mean, it's where you know Anheuser started, so that's that's pretty awesome. So yeah, all that being said, here's historic Soulard in a nutshell. Hopefully that was quick and informative. I try to keep these videos uh, pretty jam packed with information, somewhat entertaining and. You know, try to try to fit in as much information that's relevant about the area. Uh, all that being said, I do appreciate you watching. We try to provide as much free value and information on this channel about the St. Louis area. We are real estate agents here in St. Louis. So if you're interested in moving to St. Louis or visiting St. Louis or anything, we'll leave our contact uh, information in the description. So feel free to reach out and with all that being said, don't forget to like and subscribe. I really appreciate you watching. Again, this is Jordan with STL Living, and have a good day.